Okay, I'm Linda Whitaker. I live in Fort Walton Beach, Florida. And um, I'm at the Casa because the artist that's guest uh, holding the workshop this time, plus the uh, advertisement that I saw when Bob sent me the information. And it just looked like so much fun and so inviting. That's why I'm here. And I'm Paulette Strickland from Bedford, North Carolina. I'm not an artist, but I came with my sister to uh, sit back and read and just relax. And I've ended up joining in and drawing and having a great time, super time. So we hear so much from people. They don't want to come. To, the, to Mexico because it's so dangerous. Have you, either of you felt unsafe or nervous or worried about being here? That was my concern originally. Um, in fact, I asked Bob about it. I've heard so many terrible things about what's going on in Mexico. And he told me that it's like riots in, in Los Angeles and being in New York City. And that's the truth. We're just away from there. anything dangerous. And, uh, I felt very, very safe in the little village and in other places they've taken. Yeah. Even walking at night, uh, just walk. Dogs, children, just friendly. Everybody's friendly. You say you feel as safe in the boca as you do it in your hometown or oh, safer? More, <laughs> more safe. <laughs> <laughs> a lot more, a lot more. I would not get out and walk up and down my street at home. No, not at night time by myself. There is no way. But you felt all right doing that oh, in the Boca. Yes, I, I walk around anywhere and didn't, didn't bother me in the least. Hmm. We've also gotten some questions about people who are a little older who might have a little difficulty walking or negotiating the terrain. Do you have any comments about that in terms of how you felt? being in the Boca and getting around? Uh, getting around for me was, it is a little bit because I have bad knees going up the steps, but I just take my time. I say, y'all go on and I'll catch up. And I just, you know, I just have to take a little bit of time on the steps. But mm -hmm. other than that, no problems at all. Mm. Do you have any comments that you could make perhaps about the cuisine and the places that we've gone as trips? <laughs> Food? Nothing. <laughs> everything. Everything. I have not eaten anything that was not absolutely delicious. Casa, Casa Chef is tip top and uh, the places we're eating out are the best. So, uh, They've really taken terrific care of us in the food. Great. Right. And what do you think about the studio and the facilities of the studio working in the Casa? Sometimes it's hard to pay attention to the artwork because of all the beauty around in the area. <laughs> <laughs> it's wonderful to be painting and be able to look out and see the river and the activities going on around the Casa. It's fantastic. So it's kind of like being outside while you're painting. Yeah. Mm. And if you were to try to describe this experience to a friend to convince them to come down here, what would you, how would you sum up like the, the main main thing that you would say to them? What would you say? Uh, I'm taking literature back with me. I'm in an art class in uh, Fort Beach and there are some of the folks there that I'm going to pass the literature on to and hopefully they will come down. I will tell them what a wonderful experience it was, that I would love to come back someday, and um, I'm going to try to get the word out. Oh, fantastic. Thank you. And I'll come with her. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever, I'll come with her. All yes, right. Definitely. Thank you. Well, thank, thank you, you so much. Thank Appreciate you. it. That's